You laughed quite hard, other people did. Um, people don't think I like hip-hop. I do, I'm a big fan of rap music. Uh, people don't think I can like it because it's about kind of gangster topics and I'm not very gangster. But uh, what I want to do for you guys is find out if you could hear a hip-hop song about anything in the world, what would that be about? So if you can all think of a word, I'm going to get you to shout five words out. Um, if I don't take the word, it's purely because people have shouted out before and I want to keep it fresh, not because I don't like your word. Um, so if we can have a word from this section, shout it out, please. Cheese. Lots of people say cheese, I'm afraid. Jam. Jam. Someone's already said jam this fringe. I'm sorry. You keep, just keep pouring them. Elephant. What was that? Elephant. Elephant. Oh, elephant. Cool. We can take elephant. Caravans. Ca elephant, caravan, pockets. pockets. Pockets, elephant, caravan. One from you girls. Patchwork. What are you saying? Krill. Krill. As in, as in the main food of Wales, okay. Krill. <laughs> Krill, elephant, caravan, pockets. One final thing. Pluto. Pl Pluto I've already had. Flowers. Flowers I've already had. Jalapeno peppers. Jalapeno peppers, cool. Jalapeno peppers, <laughs> krill, pockets, caravan and elephants. <laughs> um, this is going to be a freestyle about caravans, jalapeno peppers, krill, pockets and elephants. And uh, don't worry, it's not going to be shit. <laughs> if you can play the beat, we'll get this shizzle going for Rizzle. Thank you. Let's kick this. We're gonna start the rap, yeah, the rap I will rock it. I'm gonna rap about a thing called pockets. And if I delve in, if I delve inside, I might show you all, yeah, what's in mind. We got some chewing gum, yeah, it's really nice. Who's it made by the brand is Wrigley's Ice. Yeah, you can catch it, but you goddamn missed. Why, I don't know, maybe because you're pissed. We got tissues in there, I dropped them on the stage. The cleaning staff, they'll be like all in a rage. Cause Chris is spreading, you see men. Well, maybe they're not, but then maybe again they are. I don't know, in there, can you know me? Can you discern the scent of a bogey? Well, I'll leave it in your drink anyway. We've got four more words to rap about today. Okay, this someone said over there, girl or man. I like to spend my holidays in caravans. And when I say that, I mean it never fails. But I always spend my holidays in North Wales. We go up there, through the county of Powys. We go up north, yeah, because my name I go up there, yeah you all know To the seaside town of Llandudno It's really cool down there You can see giant turtles towards you At a great speed they will hurtle And I sit there in my two birth Double twin axle, yeah I prefer The nice life with the fold down sofa I sit in there waggling both of my loafers I'm like yeah, I'm pretty damn bitching But I can only have one appliance in the kitchen Cause the white fuse level of it's too low 1000 watts is as far as kitchens will go Now that's a caravan fact I thought I would inform You may all be like shit this is boring I'll just yawn but wait this next bit's gonna really kill I'm gonna rap about the whale's food The food is grim And which one is it eaten by? Yeah like a talker Cause the killer whale doesn't eat it That's an orca but the blue whale yeah, you know what I mean The one with the fucking massive jaws with the baleen That's something, yeah, that I can talk about it Because 18th century women used to have corsets They put it in there because it's really quite flexible And I'd go up to the whale and I'd select it all I'd be like, I'll rip your little pole bit out i put it in my pants and then I'd jig it out And he's like, whoa, you start making me feel ill I need to get a daily supply of krill And how much do they eat when they bask in the sun? I figured out it's about 15 tons Now that's a biological fact, a geographical I'm gonna hit the last two and we're getting laughing all The other ones, yeah, shit, where have they gone? Fuck, I'm like, warfare like the song Remind me, mate Shit, okay, it was spicy and I know it's absurd because it was jalapeno peppers, you say, which are overused in the adverts of the brand Subway. You know the ones where the man walks in and the jalapenos there with his greasy green chin and he's like, are you scared? Can you not handle us? And I'm like, jalapeno peppers, get on the bus and fuck off. You don't like me and I don't like you. When I get inside, I get really hot poo. Uh, Chris showed his many talents. Uh, you're a punster as well as a rapper. Like, uh, I, I've got to say, you you look like a rapper, but I didn't expect you to kind of handle it so well. Oh, thank you. I think a lot of the comedy comes from the uh, not not expect well not expecting it, and then also going, 
oh, actually, he's not shit. And that's the kind of, that's what I aim for. Um, I like also, the then you like to have jokes in it as well. Yes, yes. I like the fact you bust out the vest as well. That I do bust out the vest. Yeah. Sexy vest. And then when I walk around afterwards wearing it, anyone who's not seen the show kind of goes, why are you wearing a wife beater? And I'm like, oh, it's part of a show. And they go, what kind of show do you wear that for? I'm like, it's hard to explain. Yeah, I'm, I'm a rapper, obviously. Yeah, yeah. That's what I all, ask. all what gangsters I, do. Uh, have you, have you, do you get heckled a lot? Of, what, or if so, what's the weirdest thing uh, I've been had? heckled five times. Uh, most of them were your shit when I was starting out. Uh, and then the best one was at Comex, which is at the Caves, just down the road, last year. When I walked on stage, and a man who'd been heckling everybody is their first line, but the other acts were Carey Marks and the boy with tape on his face. So Carey just like destroyed him, as Carey is technically amazing and very, very funny. Tape face just did his whole thing of... Uh, Another Cloud fan there. Sorry, yeah, exactly. Who doesn't love a bit of tape face? Um, tape face did a bit of, you know, just like this whole kind of, oh. Um, but as I walked on stage, I, I start quite silently. I was quite deadpan. And someone just went, Chris. And I was like, oh, maybe this guy knows me. Yeah? And he goes, I've got really low expectations of this. And I, uh, <laughs> I'd been heckled for like a year because I don't tend to get heckled because I don't know why. Maybe people would go, oh, he's really weird. Um, I was like, there's three options. One, run away. To go, be just be like, oh yeah, that's what your doctor said when he saw you coming out your mum. Ah, uh, <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing that because that's shit. So I just looked at him with a kind of quizzical raised eyebrow, like I do. Um, did my first joke, got a big laugh for it, turned to him and told him to fuck his expectations, and then moved his whole half of the room onto the other side of the room and left him sitting there and performed the gig to that side of the room because I was, although the gig was lovely, inside I was seething with anger that this man had basically just kind of got, and afterwards he was like, oh, I'm really sorry, mate. I just thought I'd test you and challenge you. And I'm like, yeah, well, well, you made me really angry with you. If you could say anything to potential hecklers into, into the camera, what would you say to a potential heckler? Oh, don't heckle unless it's going to be something funnier than that, because that was really good. Yeah, he's coming at you, old Chris Turner, OG. <laughs> well, Chris, this has been dead pat. You've been amazing. Bring it in. There you go. Lovely. Absolute pleasure. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I do love proverbs. My favourite proverb is an American saying. You may know it. It simply states, possession is nine-tenths of the word. <laughs> exactly. Fuck you, Dave. That is a way better joke. <laughs> Four kick goes.